how she traveled. I know women who made a difference. A cooler kids gift to our community. My story starts off in downtown Chicago. In Chicago, I saw many poor people without a home, food, or an education. I was deeply moved by seeing all this poverty, and I wanted to know how I could help. Jane Addams' successors recruited me to work at Chicago's Hull House, which prompted me to become a teacher. I was motivated to help people for five years, but after a while, I knew that I would rather be teaching children. So I went back to lacrosse, became a teacher at Emerson, and had six children, three boys and three girls. I found that living in lacrosse, I can impact the young women in our community by becoming a Girl Scout leader. I was very excited about this opportunity to help girls in our community. I really think that women in our community were at a real disadvantage at that time because they didn't have the right to vote and they didn't even have the same wages. I feel that by becoming a Girl Scout leader in the 1950s, I have helped the girls raise their self-esteem. And before me, girls didn't have a chance to play very many sports. I thought this was outrageous. What makes boys so much better than girls? By establishing programs in the Girl Scouts, I could allow them to play sports, just like the boys. It was very hard to hold down my teaching job and Girl Scouts, especially with my six children at home, so I had to quit my job at Emerson. I still remember when my kindergartners would cry when they had to go to first grade. They must have truly liked my class. At least I can still impact them through the school board. I ran for the school board of lacrosse and I won. This way it will be so much easier for me to spend time with my children and still have some effect on the education in lacrosse. The rest of the school board and I set up programs such as the creation of specialized schools. I felt it was important to make the Southeast Asian Hmong children welcome in our community, so I made sure they were integrated into the schools. It isn't fair for a school to be all one color. Some people say that I'm courageous and brave because I always stood up for myself no matter what other people's prejudices were or whom they discriminated against. One thing that I hope for is that I can make a positive difference in the children. I think that I have improved the equality in lacrosse between the boys and girls and made the city a welcome place for the Southeast Asian Hmong. I have improved many young women's lives that have joined the Girl Scouts. To me, teaching isn't a job, it's a passion. And no matter their age, race, or color, all that matters is the children. This podcast brought to you from La Crosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.